Hi, I'm Mike from the technical department at LPRS. So, you finally got your Raspberry Pi and you've got a great idea, but it needs a wireless link to get data to and from it. How could you do that quickly, easily and without any hassle? It's easy. Use one of our Connect to Pi dongles. What's that, you ask? Uh, it's one of our famous LPRS Easy Radio modules, but with a USB interface. Um, so what will that do then? Well, just simply, it will communicate data packets up to 180 bytes in size, uh, both ways, over hundreds of meters, and it's free to use. It's intended for uh, sense and control applications. So we're talking about uh, small, small bursts of data. We're not talking about big files, transfer, or videos, because you'd be best off using Wi-Fi for that. But of course, the snag is Wi-Fi is power hungry. These are not particularly power hungry. Uh, and we say just keep it simple. Um, so how does it, how does it, how does it work with um, a Pi then? It's easy. You just plug it in. As simple as that. The Pi recognises the USB device and installs the drivers. And it works. A COM port appears. You send data from it and you collect data from it as well. So, what about the other end? Um, well, we call it a Connect to Pi dongle, but hey, it's just a USB device. So it'll plug into your Windows PC and be automatically recognised. Or, in fact, any other USB host device. Um, and if you wanted to get really fancy, you could use one of the Easy Radio modules connected to your own micro, or perhaps you might want to use an Arduino. In fact, we have an Arduino shield for that. Wow, that's great. It's just what we need. Hmm, good. How could you find out more? Well, if you look on our website, you'll find a data sheet, although it doesn't really need a data sheet because it really is that easy to use. Uh, so. Give it a go. Have fun with your Raspberry Pi and let us know what you do with them. We're interested. Thanks. So here's the Connect to Pi dongle. I'm going to plug it into the Pi so the drivers are automatically installed and it's created a COM port. All we need now is a terminal program and you can connect to any other device.